Hey, I'm so glad you could join me today. Sit with me by the fire, get all nice and cozy. Mm, it's just so warm and cozy. This is definitely one of my favorite ways to spend the holiday season, especially when it's so I'm glad you're happy to be here. So today, I thought we would just sit together by the fire and watch as it crackles and sparks. If I'm watching the flames on a fireplace, really relaxing. Soothing. It's just nice. It's really, really nice. The way the sparks fly away and the wood slowly burns. Right? It's beautiful. So I wanted to just sit here, get all cozy, and have a nice little festive evening. River will come at some point and hop on your lap and give you a cuddle, but no promises because she is a stubborn little lady. <laughs> okay, so do you want your arms out?
I like the way the light shines through all the little I'll definitely keep this for something afterwards because it's a pretty little box. Okay, now we've got some nice festive smells. Okay, now. I'm going to make you my famous hot cocoa peppermint, of course. Just perfect for the holiday season. You're gonna absolutely love it. Okay, so come with me to my kitchen.
And then on the back she sees her hiding in her little box. You've got to be kidding me. But there we go. A lovely, delicious mug of hot cocoa for you to enjoy. What do you think? Cozy. Good. That makes me very happy. I just want you to have a good night. Just sit and relax with me. Get all cozy and story I picked one that I've yet to read myself that way we can enjoy it together so this is seen this movie. When did it come out? Maybe, maybe something like 10 years ago. I can't really remember. But I thought it would be nice to read again. I remember finding the movie a little weird, but um, it's really popular.
sound like a plan? Okay, do you need anything else before we get started? Okay, you just let me know then. So, I'm gonna take off the little sleeve because they always kind of annoy me, but I'll show you all the pictures as we go through. That's what the hardcover got this sort of mesh and then this little sort of silver ball engraving. It's actually quite nice. Okay. You ready to jump in? Good. Okay, so The Polar Express written and illustrated Van Osberg. Okay, I'm gonna read and then show you the pictures. On Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly. For a sound. Sound, friend told me, I'd never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted, but I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear sounds, though not of ringing bells. From outside, came the sounds of hissing steam and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. So here's our as a boy looking out his little winter window. And There's the train. And right down here we can see the conductor and the boy talking to each other. Snow falling all around. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and ate candies with nougat centers as white as snow. We drank hot cocoa, as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. Mm, just like yours. <laughs> Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. So, on the train, you've got chefs. around, just 
soon there were no more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roamed and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. Here, desolate winter. in Canada by now. <laughs> we climbed mountains so high it seemed as if we would scrape the moon. But the Polar Express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along, rolling over peaks, through valleys like a car on a snow-capped mountains, like a Bob Ross painting. And right there is the train traveling around. The mountains turned into hills, the hills to snow-covered plains. We crossed a barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. There, said the conductor, is the North Pole. Oh, on all these little train tracks, there's the train coming. And then over here, we've got the North Pole in the distance. The North Pole. It was a huge city, standing alone at the top of the world, filled with factories where every Christmas toy was made. At first, we saw no elves. They are gathering at the center of the city for us, the conductor told us. This is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who receives the first gift? We all asked. The conductor answered. He will choose one of you. This is the beautiful city of the shouted one of the children, the elves. Outside, we saw hundreds of elves. As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, we slowed to a crawl. So crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go on no further, we stopped, and the conductor let us outside. Here we go. All of these are the elves converging, you know, to celebrate another year of hard work, I imagine. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of a large open circle. In front of us stood Santa's sleigh. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced, ringing the silver bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound, like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart, and Santa Claus appeared. The elves cheered wildly. He marched over to us, and pointing to me, said, 
let's have this fellow here. He jumped into his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knee and he asked, Now, what would you like for Christmas? So there's Santa. Um, the middle of the snow. All the elves around him cheering. He's like a celebrity. I knew that I could have any gift I could imagine. But the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked, Santa smiled. Then he gave me a hug and told me an elf to cut a bell from a reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him. little reindeers, and there's Santa with the bell, and the little boy, all excited about it. A clock struck midnight as the elves roared their approval. Santa handed the bell to me and I put it in my bathrobe pocket. The conductor helped me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer's names and cracked his whip. His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us and then disappeared in the cold As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked to see the bell. I reached into my pocket, but the only thing I felt was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa Claus's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it, one of the children said. But the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving. We were on our way home. So there he is, all sad after he realized he missed his bell. And all the kids around him. It broke my heart to lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left the other children. I stood in my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor said something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled out. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas, he shouted. The Polar Express let out a loud blast from its whistle. Beautiful. 
beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father, it's broken. When I'd shaken the bell, my parents had not heard the sound. So there they were, on Christmas Day, opening the little box. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell. But as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear its sweet sound. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it does for all who truly believe. Stay all night if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just stop up the fire one more time. And then we'll let it cool down for the night. For lucky to last a couple hours though. I love watching. One more log to keep it going a teeny bit longer. And then we can just sit here and relax and cozy up and maybe chat if you want, but I'm feeling quite tired myself, so I might knock out in a second. Well, I'm glad enjoyed this little cozy festive evening. I'm really happy you could join me. Now let's just sit here by the fire and watch as it flickers the flames as they slowly 